Hi, Bernd here. Welcome to episode 17 of my weekly guitar Q&A show. I'm home from touring now, so I can finally get back to teaching you lessons in this video series. Hope you enjoyed the backstage videos and the extensive rig rundown I filmed for you in the last couple of weeks. Check out all the equipment secrets we have in this huge stage production if you missed this episode. Today I'd like to talk about hybrid picking and I'll show you some very cool exercises and practical examples. Randy commented on one of my YouTube videos and said he would like to see a lesson about hybrid picking. This is a very interesting topic. We are always searching for new ways to approach the instrument, to create new and interesting licks or riffs. And there are a lot of ways how you can attack a string. You can use your pick, your fingers, tapping or slapping and other styles. Hybrid picking essentially combines playing with a pick and finger picking. When you hold your pick, you only need your thumb and your index finger to do that. So you can use your middle and also your ring finger or pinky finger to plug upward on the higher strings, either alternately or simultaneously. There are a lot of creative options and this picking style also allows you to skip strings easily, since you can just assign the pick and different fingers to individual strings. One of the most obvious advantages comes with playing chords. Here's an easy example for you. As you see, I can pick all the notes I want in the chords simultaneously. If I would just use the pick, I can only sound the notes in succession, one note at a time. This makes a huge stylistic and also dynamic difference when you are comping. This is how I would play when I just use my fingers for the chords. It's a bit easier that way, but by using hybrid picking, I can keep holding my pick and switch to regular picking anytime. I'll play another example for you to show you the main advantage of using this technique for comping. I'll start with playing the chords, then switch to a short regular picking phrase and then go back to hybrid picking. I think you get where I'm going with this. Here are three different cadences for you. Try out hybrid picking for the chords and also add some scale notes or arpeggios with regular picking between the chords. This is a great exercise not only for your hybrid picking technique. If you practice chord changes like this, you will also be able to see triads, arpeggios and scales surrounding the different chords easier. This will help you to break out of the chords more when you are comping. It sounds very nice and interesting and you can also add scale notes as tensions to the chords. If you are interested in that, I can dedicate an episode to the theory behind all this. You can always send me messages or leave comments to tell me what you're interested in learning next. Now we will discuss the approaches you are probably more interested in, using hybrid picking for complex and unique licks. Let me show you the one from the beginning in detail. Here it is in two different tempos. <laughs> As you can see, the hybrid picking makes it very easy to switch between those four different strings. The pick is assigned to the D string and I'm only using my finger for the higher strings. It sounds very fast due to the pull-offs we have going on here. You can also play licks like that with your fingers. Your thumb would take the role of the pick. Here's how that works. <laughs> To learn this technique, I recommend to stick to two strings before you start to practice the string switching. I started with this pattern in triplets to work on this technique and developed most of my signature hybrid picking licks from it. I explain it in depth in my online course 10 steps to modern shredding, starting very slow with a lot of practical examples and licks. The goal is to play very tight and clean before you speed it up. It should not sound like many random overlapping notes. You clearly have to play accurate triplets to get this kind of sound. 
It almost sounds like tapping when you don't see me playing, but the overlapping notes make it a bit more interesting. By including blue notes or playing around with licks like that around dominant chords and the mixolydian mode, you get a cool country or blues vibe. But this is not the only sound you can get out of this technique. To end the lesson, I will show you a part of a song I'm working on. This will be on the instrumental record I'm putting together for a long time now. I hope I can release it sometime next year. That's all we have time for this week. I hope you enjoyed this episode and learned something new. Let me know what we should discuss next. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube, leave a like on my Facebook artist page or follow my Instagram account for more free guitar lessons. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon. Thanks again for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It really helps me out a lot. Just here to tell you that my 10 week online course 10 steps to modern shredding will be out very soon. We are looking at over 6 hours of lessons, over 70 pages of exercises you can download and 15 high quality exclusive jam tracks you can work with. So it's gonna be a great deal only available on my website. I'll keep you guys up to date, thanks for listening and see you in the next video.